Madam Web the movie was a complete disaster. But maybe the Marvel Snap card version of her will do the character justice. I've always enjoyed playing move decks, but they have always been considered fun decks instead of meta decks. With Madam Web and Arania coming out this season, we might see move decks go up a tier or two. Get your Shadow King and shang Chi's ready. Madam Web doesn't just fit into move decks, she has great synergy with cards like Angela, Hope Summers, and Elsa Bloodstone. And she can be a pretty good counter against junk decks too. Instead of playing a full move deck for my Madam Web showcase, I wanted to try out this junk move deck by Skoskull23. The idea is to clog one location as much as possible and win it by moving Dagger there, and try to win another location with cards like Cassandra, Sage, Vulture, and Iron Man. Of course, you can also win the clog location with Sage or Vulture, but that location shouldn't be the one you have to worry about. If we have Ravona on board, the Iron Man plus Sage combo can catch a lot of people by surprise. This deck is quite flexible and since it's not your standard move or junk deck, your opponent will not know what to expect. Nice. Oh. It's gonna pull my dagger there. Wait, that's perfect. Wait, did we, we clogged them on the right. Perfect. I could just move the dagger here. And then we don't really need to worry about this. I'm just gonna do this and cloak them on the left. I always win the right side here with dagger. I just wanna get their stupid Titania. Ooh. Don't you just cloak yourself, you silly you silly goose? Very, very silly goose indeed. I could also just move dagger left and then sage on the right. I am a little bit scared of um Annihilus, but I don't think they have it. Oh, okay. I mean, what are you going to do here? Don't we just win if I just move the dagger middle? Well, oh, I can just ignore middle or win left and right. We literally never lose. Like, how do we lose? Unless I misplay. Uh, I'm just gonna play the loop cage. Are they really going to retreat later? Because that would be silly. <laughs> yeah, I was always gonna retreat, buddy. As always, day one of a new card. There's a pocket meta where everyone who's not getting the new card is playing against the new card. So there's going to be a lot of clog, I think. Um, destroy. Ugh. Well, this is okay. I guess I could... Um... Oh, alright. This actually made stuff cheaper for me. Nice. <laughs> okay. Let's go like this. We clog them. Oh, what's going on there? Should we play stuff out? I'm kind of scared. I could do this as well, and then stuff can move. Maybe like this. Present. Present. Is that gonna be clog? Okay, it's not. That's quite nice, actually, for me. Let's do this. That's pretty good, actually. Not too bad. Get clogged them in the middle as well. This is the final turn. Hey, come back! Victory. I don't have anything, but I feel like we still could win. They didn't draw the Ajax. I bet they drew a bunch of rocks. So we always win on the left no matter what, unless they have a Luke Cage, which that deck doesn't really run Luke Cage. It's a bit hazmat ruining days. Okay, well at least now we have Luke Cage, so we don't have to be scared. Ah, oh, sure, more clog. Everyone's playing clog. Sage in the middle is pretty nice. Oh? Kick wait. I think we can white widow middle. 
What are they gonna do? Oh, that's what they're gonna do. Okay. Right. This is pretty nice because now I can move stuff away. And then I can get a nice little sage. Uh, they're probably gonna try to viper me on the left. So I could do something funny here, maybe. This might also be nice. They're probably gonna uh, viper here. Oh no, never mind. Okay, so they have another Viper, which we're not- Hey, come back, man! <laughs> Why? Ooh, Madam Web. But who needs Madam Web when you have New York? It's kind of annoying. I could play her out like later, because I don't really have Dagger or Vulture out at the moment, like in my hand at the moment, so I might as well just play Kate Bishop and see what I get. If I don't get Dagger or Vulture, there's no point playing her. I don't understand why people take so long just to do um, one turn. Turn one, I mean. Like, what? Why? why do you need to think so hard about turn one? Chimichanga! Can you do Chimichanga twice? No, right? Phew! I mean, uh, Cassandra Nova. She doesn't activate again, does she? No. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I think I was still clog left because uh, it's just better for us this way. Oh, there we go. There we have the dagger. It's pretty nice. Present! Hmm. Okay, I, I could put it there because Madam Web, with Madam Web I can move it anyway. Oh, okay. They're also doing some uh, funny stuff. Interesting. Oh no, I, it needs to be revealed to move. I thought maybe you can move it this, the turn you play it, but you can't. Oh, I could put a item web on the left, and then we can move stuff, right? But that's kind of ass now. Because I can move that stuff away. Maybe that's better. I'm a bit scared of, like, um... Viper. Oh man, that's big. Okay, so stuff can move. But is there a point moving? And they're probably gonna have like a cannonball or something. I can only move one card as well. I wish I could uh, move two cards so I can uh, go spider left. That would have been nice. But I still don't think that's enough actually. Maybe they go for right side. I think they're just gonna cannonball me in the middle to be honest. Alright, let's just uh, risk it. Oh? Maybe it will work? Okay. No! Alright, in the middle I needed to put something else. But I couldn't, could I? Because, like, there, it was... Uh, it was no space in the middle. I couldn't put anything in the middle. I really, really hate playing the game on uh, day one. Uh, like, day one of a new card. Because the meta is just so toxic. Mm. Fisk Tower is really shit for me. Present. Okay. Forge always makes me think of... Ooh. Brood. Present. Oh, Vulture. I also have a Vulture. What if we also Vulture? Or we could Dagger. Dagger might be better. Vulture Is Vulture better or is Dagger better? <laughs> I actually don't know. 
Uh. Ooh. A Hulk Buster. That means they can move the vulture. Okay, that's really big. Um, what do we do now? Should I just do this and then next turn we do like Iron Man? I need to make sure that Iron Man doesn't go middle. I think it's fine because of dagger. Uh, all right. I, I'm kind of scared. Like this vulture is gonna screw me. I think. Oh my god, that's huge. Jesus. Go left, I hope. Alright, that's pretty good. Wait, then we just can... Uh, how do they win middle? We, they could, I guess, move the vulture to the middle. And that would be pretty big. The sage is the la last card I played, so I could, like... Go spider it? No, I can't. I could do this. Oh, wait, wait, dagger here. Then we go spider here. No, wait. First, it needs to be Iron Man. And then dagger. And then this. Okay. Okay, okay. So Iron Man goes left. And then with dagger, then we. Okay, this, this work. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. The dagger is gonna be humongous. And then we have Iron Man as well. Iron Man on the right, Iron Man on the left. Like, what they're gonna do? I mean, they can Shang-Chi me, maybe, but hopefully, no Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi does not exist. The limit does not exist. Oh my god. What is that? Okay, that's teeny tiny. Iron Man. Yes. The Iron Man on the left. We always win left. Dagger. Go, go, go. We win the right side as well. 40. How do you beat 40? Easy clap. We even won middle somehow. That's a juicy win. We did it! Victory. Oh wait, there's no Madam Web. We didn't play Madam Web! Crap! And it's not too bad. No Madam Web though. Do wish we had Madam Web in hand. And Ravona would be nice to have Ravona. Ooh. Should we play it out? What if it's something like a sage or something? That would be bad. Nah, it's never sage. Uh, what if it's like a dagger? Then it won't be very good. Uh, okay, Vulture is actually not amazing because... Uh, how am I going to move it? I can't move it. Replace that card location. Maybe they replace middle location. That'll be good. I hope they do. Oh, nice. That's perfect for me. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I knew it. Oh wow, we even won that. Okay. I can move the Vulture. I could move the Titania. Actually, let's move the Titania. Why not? Mm, I'm just playing this out for stats. Because this way we always keep the titan Titania. Unless th uh, we play something and they don't play something on the left. Okay, I could do this. Um, I don't have to move the vulture. Iron Man will go right. We always win right. And then if they play something there, we get the titan. We get to keep the Titania. If they don't play something there, next turn we play something on the left and we get to keep the Titania, right? Okay, nice. I am. This goes right. Pew pew! Okay, Titania goes la uh, goes to their side. Very good. Okay, so the Vulture goes here. Then we... What was the last card we played? Uh, Iron Fist? This way, the Titanium will go to our side. The Vulture is huge. Mm, this is three. This is actually bigger, because we get uh, Iron Fist. 
and Titania. So maybe that's better. And then we just do this. How do I lose on the right? Okay, let's hope this is enough. Good luck me! It was unfortunate that that location pulled out Vulture because I couldn't use Ghost Spider on it or anything. So the only way to move it was Madam Web. Okay, another retreat. I feel like with this deck, there's it's just been all retreats. Nobody stayed in because they know they're going to lose. I don't like your avatar. I don't want a Deadpool means destroy. I don't want to play against destroy. Okay, that's fine. This kind of means they might have um, the thing, you know? Um, Red Guardian. They might Red Guardian my Madam Web. Oh, never mind. Easy clap. Who in left? A middle? Don't we just win here? How do we lose? Now, ideally, I would have liked to have... Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. But you should have probably saved your rogue for something else. Right? Mm. I'm gonna save my... Actually... No, I can't save it. I'm just gonna play out now. And next turn we're gonna um, Iron, Iron Man, right? I'm just playing this Luke Cage out in case they are like uh, some kind of toxic... Toxic deck. Hmm. This is actually a little bit scary. I don't I don't know if I can win here. Cause I can't play my dagger. It's like this is the only thing I can do. Right? Which is 18, 20. We have 20 on the right. I don't know if this is enough. They pr if they have Surfer, like... Oh, uh, it's a bit scary. Oh, well, let's just try it. If they have, like, Shaw and Surfer, we're uh, screwed. Wait, but this is enough, though. We have enough here. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Let's go! We did it! Oh my god, we actually finished one game! Granted, Madam Web didn't do much, but if they weren't so premature with their rogue, they could have rogued my Iron Man. Sad. Even. Overall, Madam Web is a solid card that is not only going to make move decks better, but will fit into a lot of other archetypes really well. I can see her being at home in Drunk decks, in Phoenix Force decks, and Angela decks. She seems like a well-designed card that's not going to be OP, and also won't annoy the heck out of your opponent when played. I feel like so many of the newer cards can be quite frustrating for the opponent. Cassandra and Silver Sable sucking out power for, from your opponent's deck. Loki playing your own cards for cheaper. Arisham having the extra energy and random cards that just happen to counter whatever you're playing. Kate Bishop with the super annoying and cheap Acid Arrow. Copycat who used to actually steal one of your cards ability. The list goes on and on. It's nice to see a card that isn't designed around ruining your opponent's day for once. If you plan on getting Madam Web and I think she's a solid pickup with keys, you should definitely try and pick up Rania next week too. The two will work really well together and you'll need both if you want to play pure move decks to the highest standard possible. The other cards in the spotlight caches are Silk and Eliath. Silk has really gone down in both popularity and power. Her unpredictability can be really annoying, especially with so many junk decks around. And she's been power crept by other amazing two drops we've seen released recently like White Widow, Thena, and Kate Bishop. She's not a card you need to have at all in her current state, so I wouldn't recommend wasting keys on her. 
Alive is a hard one. I don't want to recommend him because I don't want to see more Alive being played, but he has seen a resurgence in popularity recently, especially with Symbiote Spider-Man coming out and combo decks being more popular. If you don't have him, I recommend opening him. He's a powerful card that you'll want in your collection. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!